gotta remember how long my Kelsey is doing. Hey guys, um, Tracy Joe Rose, not Kelsey. Oops, so coming in. Um, Aaron asked me, Aaron Tweet asked me to host this week's um, Team Zoom. I was kind of excited because it actually made me take a shower today. So um, I, she said, I want to do tips from the top. I said, you know what? I've got two girls. I've been dying to hear their stories. I've been hearing them get shouted out on the VIP group. And I wanted to hear what they had to, to share. So um, real quick, if there's anybody on here that's not on our team that doesn't know, I'm just going to share brief of who I am, and then we're going to cut to them. Um, but I'm, again, I'm Tracy Joe Rose, a triple diamond in the business. I've been in the business four years. Um, I'm actually um, the old lady, that the crazy old lady with the cows that um, told the enroller the day I joined, don't ever ask me to sell anything. I don't, I don't want to sell anything. I don't have time. I'm not into all that. I don't want people to know. Um, I just want the discount and the products. And that's exactly what I told her. I was actually a bitch um, to her, but she never gave up on me. Thank God. Um, she, um, sorry, I'm still trying to let everybody in. Um, but she stuck it out. She kept um, having me put up posts and things like that. And I, I was like, yeah, here and there, ding, and they're knocking on my door. Um, so uh, long story short, I, use the products. I love them. I had amazing results with them. I lost 42 pounds in three months. Um, I'm Again, I am um, a registered nurse. I was doing travel nursing at the time. So all my nurse friends and doctors, they were all like, what are you using? What are you doing? You're on top of your game. And it just took off from there. Um, I really jumped in the business the day that my manager told me when my daughter was being induced for emergency labor, to have my first grandbaby, that if I could find somebody to cover my shift, I could leave and go be with her. And that, you guys, was the last day I worked as a nurse. I looked at her, I handed her my badge. I had spent 18 years putting my family aside, um, but missing birthday parties. Uh, I was not going to miss my first grandbaby coming into this world and my baby sitting there. So I looked at my badge and I looked at her and I said, um, this is the last time. This is it. I'm done. I am literally done. Nobody is ever going to take me away from my family again. Um, so for all you young people, there's a tip right there. Um, start now, start now, because I, my only regret is nobody told me about this business. Um, gosh, years ago, I had to wait till I was in my fifties, but, um, sorry, there's, Tons of people coming in. So anyway, long story short, I went triple diamond in my first year, had no clue what I was doing. I was just ignorance on fire. I just went crazy. Um, and basically it was really just sharing what I was using. And that's all I talked about. And um, this business has since um, bought a car for my mom. It's bought us 20 acres for our farm. Um, I have not been back to work, work as a nurse since November 20th. Um, 2018. Um, I've been retired all this time. So, and it has literally paid our bills when my husband was laid off last year for the whole year. Um, it saved our farm because we would not have everything that we have. We would have lost it all if we had depended on his money, which is great money, but we all know how that goes. So long story short, um, this business has paid, given my mom an extra check, it's given her a brand new car that, that pays for her car payment every month. Um, she gets a, a, a check every month. My sister who had cancer recently passed away. She got into the business three years ago when she was diagnosed with cancer, quit her job and spent the last three years because of this business, enjoying life and traveling, bought an RV and did all the things that she wanted to do before um, she knew that she couldn't battle it anymore. Um, this business, I could go on and on and on of what it's done for my family, but that's your why always changes what you started for. I started for coffee. Um, look where it ended up. Your why will always change. So as we go into this and I'm going to let these ladies share, um, I want you to hear um, a little bit of their story and their why. I'm sure their why started from the change from the day that they joined as well. But um, I'm going to let Lisa talk first because um, she's got some kiddos there that she's trying to 
um, corral in and um, I'm gonna let her talk first and share her. She's a busy mom, a, I believe a teacher. These are sidelines, you guys, these aren't people on our teams. And that's what I wanted to hear from is other people, other teams. I want you guys to meet these other people. This business isn't just our team. There's thousands of us out there. So um, I'm excited to hear from Lisa. Are you unable to unmute yourself? Yeah, I can. Awesome. Can you hear me? Okay. So good. nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm so nice. It's like so exciting to be able to be on here. I am like in my car at the gym because I was like, oh, this will work because they watch my kids for two hours. It's when I go to the gym. So I worked out for an hour and I like went out to my car so that I can do this. So I'd love to be coming to you showered, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> but that's the way life is right now. Like I do work a 50, you know, 40 to 60 hour work week because I'm a full-time teacher. Um, I also um, have three kids, um, four, two, and one will be one next month. So all under the age of four. So it's kind of a full-time job in itself, just raising three kids that are crazy. But it's honestly been that's why I started like and without them I wouldn't be able to say that I would I probably would never even have been here if it wasn't for my kids so I was actually um when I started so I've been in the business just about four years as well I think three and a half I don't know who's counting at this point um <laughs> so I I joined because I started out as a um I was teaching full-time in New York and I was working my butt off, but barely making ends meet. So I think my second year teaching, we had moved and my husband was planting churches. So I'm a pastor's wife on top of it. My husband was planting churches. So if you're in ministry, you know, um, you do not make any money. So especially as a church planter, you do not make any money. So it, it was my income and it was just me as a teacher. And as my second year teaching, they offered me like when I moved to my new job, they lit, the superintendent called me and said, we can pay you $32,000 a year. And I laughed on the phone when she said that to me. Like, I didn't even mean to. I just was like, wait, excuse me. Like, I have a degree and you're expecting me to get my master's degree in New York. You have to have a master's degree to be a teacher. Like, I have to now go pay $100,000 to get my master's degree and you were going to pay me $32,000 a year. Like, this is unheard of. And I was commuting an hour to work there and an hour both ways so I so I was just like uh, I don't know if that'll work so they so they like raised it to like 38 I think and I had to say yes like because that was all I could do you know I had a teaching degree as a high school teacher so I I said yes and then I found out a few months later that I was pregnant and and we were newlyweds I was pregnant all the life was happening to us and my husband didn't tell me that through through the church world he got connected to the mayfields and he saw jason and saw their their debt payoff and saw ashley's payoff and he wasn't he didn't tell me about it and then one day he just tagged me in her post and he's like i've been watching them for a year and they paid off all this money and he just commented at lisa johnson on the, on her post and jokingly not knowing all she had said was like we paid off sixty three thousand eight hundred and one dollars and ninety nine cents you know ashley spiel um and i was like i just said sign me up that's all i said like joking like sign me up this girl's paying off debt i want to do it too uh sign me up and and she messaged me well uh that was the end of that so at the time it was like a $20 sign up fee. My husband was like, yo, better at least try it, try it. Cause we need the money. And I was like, okay. And so I had, at that point, um, that was, I had already had my daughter, I guess, timeline. I had already had my daughter at that point. She was, um, just about 10 months old when I joined and I was pregnant for my second already. And at that point I was missing so many moments because as a teacher, teacher I was also trying to make everything work so I was coaching underwater robotics I was teaching I was tutoring I was doing everything trying to just make enough money to survive and so anyway long story short of my of my whole story we were I was picking her up at like you know from daycare at five o'clock at night she'd fall asleep on the car ride home and I would get to see her for maybe 30 minutes before bedtime right and I knew that that's not what I wanted that's not what I signed up for it's not what I went to school for I didn't go to school to be able to just do that life so I was like I don't want this life this isn't what I want 
Um, so I signed up and ignorance on fire, the same as Tracy. I was like, I, I just took off running in my first five months. I went triple and I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't know what I was doing. I just was signing people up. Ashley was just telling me what to do. And I did it. Um, and she, if she said she messaged me like my fourth month in, I went to conference too. That really helped. But, um, my fourth month in, she just said, Hey, you just went, you just triple promoted from Ruby to double. If you sign up 20 more distributors, we could go triple. I said, game on, let's do it. I didn't know that was like hard. I just knew that it could happen. And, and nobody told me that it was hard. They just said it, I could do it. So I just said, okay. So, um, I just did it and I was ignorance on fire. I was working every day. Um, I would take my little lunch break. I'd be making my post. I'd sit in my car. I made a, I made a promise to myself and I'm telling all this story just so you guys can hear how it all works together. But I made a promise to myself that, that of what I wanted most, I prioritized. And that was what I wanted most. So even though after school, I loved my students, I wanted to be able to be in school. I want to be able to give them everything. It wasn't what I wanted most. And what I wanted most was to be able to, to know, well, what I wanted most was that I could make money when I went on maternity leave with my next daughter, because they don't pay you on maternity leave. So we would have had no income on my maternity leave. And I knew I needed to match my income. Um, and it was, that was, you know, January by conference or whatever. I promoted in March and my daughter was born June 2nd. And I knew that I needed to be able to do that before she, she was born. So I, I had a huge why. I also had a huge, um, just a huge like desire. So I said, I can't at three o'clock, I can't stand around and talk to you guys. So I went out to my car and even though I didn't need to go pick my daughter up until four, I sat in my car and worked, but it kept me away from people that would talk to me because I do not have self-control. So I locked myself in my car. And so I would do that every single day just because I knew that was what I wanted. And then I would pick up my daughter and I'd go home and I would, my husband was on board with me. So I know this was a little bit different. So he was making dinner because I was like, you got to help me. Our house was messy most of the time, but it was because that's what I wanted. Yes, I wanted a clean house, but I wanted that more. Like, what did I want most? And what I wanted most was to promote to triple at that time, right? So that was what I wanted most. And so I went like this to my dirty house and we made it work. Um, and so I, you know, I, I made the promotions, I did the things and it was awesome. Um, but it was then after that, I was able to go on maternity leave. I ended up never going back after maternity leave because I was making enough. I had actually tripled my teaching salary at that point. Um, so I was like, I don't really need to go back to that. I love teaching, but it's just not what I want to be able to do right now. So I stopped teaching for a season. I, um, I love teaching. So that's why I loved this platform because I was able to come and teach my team. I was able to coach. I was able to do that just in a, it looked a little different. So I was coaching, I was teaching. It was amazing. But, um, then we had made the decision to move closer to my family. So we moved three hours away and I was, and then I found out I was pregnant for my third. Right. So, and then I was like, Oh, this is wonderful. So then after that, we knew because of New York COVID crazy, my husband was pastoring and planting churches. He's originally from Missouri. So we made the decision through COVID to get out of New York um, and move to Missouri. So we moved our family while I was still, I was like at that point, six months pregnant, seven months pregnant. We moved our family across the country and this business supported all of that. I was able to take my family and move across the country because of this. I didn't have to look for a job. I didn't have to do all of that because my, my, this business could carry me there and could carry our family there. And so finally I got, we got to Missouri and I found this amazing person that I love. She's my, my current principal and she somehow coerced me into going back to teaching. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it still, but don't tell her I said that. Um, so I, I went back to teaching. The only thing that convinced me was that my four-year-old, my two-year-old and my one-year-old all got to come to school with me because it's a private school. And I, my kids are getting in my husband's here. Um, <laughs> oh, Brenda, go away. So, um, so I went back to teaching and I, I love it, but I got to take my kids. And she said, the one thing that I can, I can help with is that 
um, I can bring my kids to my classroom with me. I can, cause it's a private school. I can carry my baby to, to class and have my kids right with me. And that's what I love. So now I get to do it all, but I work a 50 hour work week. Um, but I also do it because being a stay at home mom is not for me. I love people that are stay at home moms. I love you guys, but I love my kids at a distance. Um, <laughs> they're, they're a lot. They are a lot. Um, and so I love that they get to go to school. I love that. And I love that I get to be right with them. So that's my story. Um, sorry, they're all getting in and it's going to be loud. Um, actually, let's do this. I'll get out while they get in. So anyway, to share my story. Thanks, Brenton. Um, <laughs> they probably got kicked out of kids. So this is my life, you guys. I get to work my business everywhere. I get to do this everywhere. I have crazy kids. They follow me everywhere. But I still get to do my business, and I love that about this. And that's why um, I've been able to do this is because I don't show up for my team all done up. I don't show up for my team looking a certain way, being a certain thing. I show up relatable. I show up like this. I show up because I do still work a business or another job, and I share that with them that how I'm able to do it. I, cause not everybody wants to quit their job and be, do this. And some people don't, they want to keep working and that's fine. Um, and so I guess through, through getting my, she wanted me to share a few tips of just like getting my bonus. It was, it was going back and just making that decision again, the same thing before it was a decision. I said, I'm going to do this. Is sorry. Is it really loud out here? No. Okay. So, um, it was a decision that I had to make and it was a decision that I finally just said, like, I'm going to do this hell or high water. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get a success bonus because I want to be able to travel this summer. Cause as a teacher, my, that income will go away. Um, and my sister's getting married in Florida and my, my other relatives are going to Florida and we're doing a week then. So I'm going to Florida for two weeks with my kids. I don't know we're driving. It's going to be awful, but it's going to be fun. And, um, I wanted to be able to pay for it with this business. And so I just said, I'm going to do this and we're going to, we're going to go and we're going to make this work and my business is going to pay for it. And so I've shared my journey with my, with my network the whole time. So everything I do, I just share um, everything from going to the gym to needing bonuses to pay for things. Um, I share that with my network and I just show up relatable. I show up the way that I am. I don't try to be somebody that I'm not. And I think that that's something that goes a long way. A lot of people are scared. They want to look a certain way. They want to look like, I don't know, lashes done. And I love, I love certain people at the top, but that will just never be me. Maybe one day I'd love it, but it's probably not going to happen. So, um, and maybe once my kids are older and don't ruin everything. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit of my story is just being authentic, being who I am. And, and yeah, I don't know if, if you have any other questions, I'd be willing to answer some questions, but that's my story and how, um, I don't know. Did you need anything else? To that is awesome. A hero, I, I may be fit. I may be fifty-four and a grandma, but I tell you, I can relate to that because I watch my grandkids. So I have to hand it to anybody who's got kids and does this business. It is not easy. On the days that I watch them, it's like, how in the hell does? Because my daughter's a double diamond on my team. She gets to go to go to work for a day or two a week, and I'm watching. And I'm like, how in the world does she get her posts and TikToks and reels done? I can't. Eat. It's taking me three hours to get a post even put up it's crazy um that that is amazing but what i want to point out you guys just from what she said it isn't about being fancy um that's just like like tonight my team's probably like oh my gosh tracy actually took a shower because i normally don't either it's about being real and being who you are um and being legit who you are because that's what people relate to um if you don't have the lashes and all fancy dancy um, your your followers are following you because of you. They weren't following you because all of a sudden you're 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 going to pretend to be something that you're not. And that's so key. And I love that about I love that about you, Lisa. That's probably what got you this far. Um, the other thing I like is you guys. She set a goal out for her bonuses. Like she knew that she wanted to go to Florida. She wanted to be at her sister's wedding. She had um, things that she wanted to do for the summer. And so she went after those $2,500 bonuses for that reason. And she, she set a goal for herself. And that's so key. Um, if you don't have something that you're shooting for, then you, you don't have something pushing you. Um, that's exactly what I did. I wanted to, I wanted to pay off some things. 
and ended up the wa the water heater went out two thousand dollars it cost me so there went that bonus unexpectedly life happens um which brings me to when you said that it's um not about right now it's not about right now in this business it's about what you, do you want in your future um it, it's not about what am i going to make right now or, or I, what what check can i make this month yeah that is great but really i'm working for the checks for next year and next year and next year the year and year and year after that that i all that residual income that's what i want because i want to keep things um and man that's you got a great story i didn't know that all about um the pastor i knew you were under ashley's team but i didn't know you guys were connected that way that's so cool um Thank you so much for sharing. I know you got your, your husband and kids there and they're probably like, hey, we got to go get ice cream. Um, so I'm going to let Kayla share. I appreciate you for sharing, Lisa. Thank you so much. Um, that was truly amazing. I love hearing that. All right, you guys, you ready for Kayla? Let's hear from her. And this, this girl is a rock star. I, I haven't personally met her, but I have seen her name. She's in a lot of chats that I'm in, top leaders. Um, she's a rock star. She just kills it. So I, I am really anxious to hear from her as well. Kayla, go right ahead. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay. So thank you so much for having me, by the way. And I think I just love that we are all three so different. Um, I think the one thing that we can relate to is we're all moms on here, but we're so different. And I just love that literally any person can do this, whether you are Tracy, Lisa, me, um, we all come from different walks of life. It just comes down to making a decision and putting one foot in front of the other and putting in the work. That's all it comes down to. You don't have to fit a specific mold. You don't have it to have a degree behind your name. You just have to show up and stay consistent. And that's all this business takes. But um, yeah, so my name is Kayla and I joined this business when I was 19 years old. I was just a little baby. I'm 23 now. Um, so I've like grown up in this business. I started because drop a one if you can relate, maybe not, but if you can drop a one, because um, I like to be able to relate to people. Uh, I did not know what I wanted to do with my future. I was like lost after high school. I was like, I don't like, not all my friends knew what they wanted to do and go to school for, I had an idea at least. And I was like, yeah, I have no idea. So I actually listened to people around me that told me that they thought I'd be good at something. So I was like, okay, cool. So I was gonna go to school for esthetician school. And then I like last minute dropped out before because like I did not want to do it at all. And I moved back home and I was like, I just need to figure out like what I'm going to do and I'm just going to work and save up money until then. Well, I moved back home and after moving home for like a month, this business found me. I was on Instagram. Um, a girl followed me on Instagram. I stalked her page. She's making four figures from her phone. And I was like, okay, I'm literally always on my phone. I was 19 years old. Who's not? And I was like, if she can make like high four figures, I can probably make a few hundred extra dollars I can save every month or it can go to things that I can't even afford. I always had to go to, sorry, if you can hear my child screaming by the way. Um, I always had to go to the grocery store and like add things up on a calculator um, and put stuff back. I never shopped healthy because everything is expensive and healthy, um, especially now. And I just bought anything I could afford that week and yeah, like I said, I had to add it up on a calculator. I only could fill my gas tank here and there and just stuff like that. That's so relatable. I, you know, didn't come from a lot of money and I just wanted, you know, to my parents did the best they could for me, but I just wanted to be able to do more. And I knew that I was going to have to do something different to be able to do that, especially if I wasn't going to go to college. And so um, I caught the vision really fast in this business. I joined like on the spot, basically, I was that one person, that one percent that does that. Um, I just saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm on social media. Like, let's do this. And I went all in from the get go. And that's like one thing I want to say, you guys, is if you're new on here, or maybe you're not, maybe you're at a point in your business where you're not all in right now. When you choose to go all in, you're gonna reap the benefits of being all in. And the benefits that you can reap from going all in in this business is truly like no other. Um, and you can be busy. You can be a mom of three like Lisa and a teacher and you can be someone like me who's a mom and works full-time from home you can be like Morgan who goes to school full-time and does this business full-time like it can be anything you want it to be but when you go all in that's when you're going to see the results and because I went all in 
I went diamond in seven months, um, which by the way, I totally forgot to say a part of my story. I was working retail um, while I was doing this business. So I was working like 40 hours there and I worked this business around my busy schedule and I babysat on the weekend. So couldn't be on my phone from like, I worked from like a nine to six or something, couldn't be on my phone at all. So when I, what I would do is I'd get up 30 minutes earlier, do what I could in that 30 minutes. I'd listen to personal development on my commute to work, come or go to work, not be on my phone. Um, and if I was, I snuck in the bathroom or something and then go home and work this business for what I could. So a solid two hours of intentional work took me going from, you know, living paycheck to paycheck to, you know, replacing, honestly, I replaced my retail income that I was working 40 hours in three months of doing this business full time, just putting intentional two hours of work in. So it just comes down to being intentional and not scrolling and thinking we're working. But, um, so then I went diamond in five months. And then um, I went double two months later. And then you guys, I had a lot of life happen to me. So, you know, they always tell you, and I know Tracy kind of said that she's like, it's not a matter of if life's going to happen to you. It's kind of a matter of when, and that could be good or bad, like something good or bad happens every six months. And I hadn't really had any like roadblocks or anything like that um, through my course of that, other than just little things, but nothing like life threatening or big happening while I was working my business and then I did and I did not know how to so okay I had quit my job and this is my full-time income so I had to work this business like my full-time job but because I didn't know how to you know do both at the same time I put my business on the back burner highly do highly recommend don't do that um but at the same time it brought me to the rest of my story and so because I did that, um, you guys, I had a lot of life happen in 2019 and I like chose not to work my business for like six months that when I went to conference, I made the decision to go to conference in 2020, um, broker than a joke. I didn't even make a paycheck. You guys, I was not even commission qualified. Okay. So I didn't make a paycheck in 2020. And then in June of 2020, I went triple in five months just because I made a decision that I was no longer going to be where I was at. And I was just kind of sick and tired of my own crap. Like I put myself in a situation. I found out I was pregnant in February and I knew I was not going to want to leave my daughter. And I've been home the whole year and a half with her this whole time. I've not had to miss a moment um, just because I choose that. Like I want to be home with her. And, you know, I just got so sick and tired of where I was at. And I knew I didn't want to go back to a nine to five. And I had no college degree or nothing like that. And so I just had to pick my heart. And I was like, you can either go back to a job. You are going to have to leave, you know, wake up. You're going to have to report to a boss, do what they want and not get paid for your worth. Or you can get out of your crap, you know, pick your butt up and just start doing this business that you already know works and that can provide a life that you want to live. And that's what I did. I just had to look myself in the mirror and it was hard. You guys, like I was at a point where I wasn't making a paycheck. I had no team. I like, I was basically starting from scratch again, but I just want you to know, like you get to pick your heart and either way it's going to be hard. So whenever you're in that funk or, you know, slump or whatever you want to call it, you just have to ask yourself, like, what do I want to do? Like, pick your heart. And that's what I always do whenever I'm in this like um, mindset of I'm like, gosh, I don't want to get up this close. Or, gosh, I don't want to do this because you're not going to love what you do every single day. Like I love this business and I love what it does for me, but I don't love posting every day. I don't love doing that. And you're going to have that no matter what you do. And so just pick your heart and what matters most to you. And what matters most to me is being home with Quinn and, you know, being able to make an income and, you know, sleeping in and looking like a hot mess and not having to get ready and all those things that come with it. So I went triple in those five months and we've been triple ever since. And I earned my success bonus three times and I'm working on my fourth right now. And I guess my biggest tip with it is if, okay, so drop a two, if you've ever felt that you were just not excited about your business anymore, or you're at a, like, maybe you felt that before, or you're in that position right now, drop a two. Um, because I love host posts. Okay. I really do. Um, I, it took me going diamond. It took me going double diamond and I still love it. Um, but social media is evolving and there's multiple different ways you can work your business. And so I was seeing everybody. Okay. Not job with three, actually, if you started TikTok, like during COVID, like when it started, when it, TikTok was like the biggest thing. Cause I was like, I am not hopping on that. That's for like 14 year olds. Like I'm not posting videos of me dancing. Like no, you guys are weird. Like I'm not doing that. 
Um, I'll just stick to host posts. That was my mentality. And then everybody was on TikTok popping off and their business was exploding. And I was like, oh crap, like you're eating your words right now. And I still never hopped on. Well, I did hop on later on, but I was always one foot in, one foot out. I didn't take it very seriously and I didn't go all in with it. That's the key. I didn't go all in with it. So I wasn't seeing the results with it. And when I decided to go all in was when I was seeing all these girls in like October um, and they were like posting all their enrollments and they were literally enrolling like 10 to 15 customers a day or like just popping off like 60 plus enrollments. And I'm like, I finally like swiped up on three different people. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? Like, is this how supposed to Which goes, TikTok girl, like get on TikTok. And I'm like, oh, did not want to hear that. But I'm like, okay, fine. So I was like, if she can pop off and do this, like I can too. And I'm, you know, I'm still working on, you know, hitting like goals with my body because I had a child. And so I had good before and afters with these products. And I was like, I'm being really selfish not showing these off. And I know a lot of moms and people can relate to me. So like, I have something to share. Um, and you guys, that's another thing too, of like what Lisa said is like just being authentic and genuine. You are your own niche. And everyone's like, I don't know my niche. Like, I don't know what to do. And sometimes we, we follow people that inspire us, but we also follow people that like we compare ourselves to. And we're like, but I'm not as pretty as them. Or I don't have that kind of a home or all that. Like, trust me, I get so caught up in that. But like you are your own niche and you provide value that nobody else does. Like the way you put on your makeup, the way you do your hair, the way you love people, like everything about you is a is what you are because God made you like nobody else. And so you trying to be somebody else is a total disservice to your business because you're not going to have the right people come to you when you're trying to be someone else and they're going to join you. They're going to be like, this girl is nothing. Like she put herself on social media. And so I just challenge, or not challenge you, I encourage you to just be yourself and it's okay to be weird. It's okay to be messy. It's okay to be like whoever you are. Like I show up on my stories with no makeup and looking like a hot mess all the time. And I like that, honestly, it took me a while to get over that, but I like it because people can relate to me and they know like, yeah, I might like a good preset on my filter or my Instagram and stuff, but my stories, I'm going to show up like this and I'm going to talk about the things that I don't necessarily post about on my highlight reel. So going back to TikTok, I started on it in October. And ever since I started on um, in there, ever since I started TikTok in October, um, that's where all my enrollments have been coming from. And then Facebook Reels came out, I think, at around the same time. And when Facebook Reels came out, I was like, okay, I am not missing out on this train because I missed out on TikTok. So I'm going to just start posting on Facebook Reels. And because I did that, you guys, I have almost 55K followers. Um, just from being consistent, being myself, posting every day and branding myself. I don't really post about the products or opportunity very much randomly. I'll throw one in there, but I just post about things I love. Post about Quinn. I post things that are relatable. I post funny things. I post like inspirational things um, just so people can relate to me. And then when they come to my page, they're going to like and trust me already that when I post about a product, they're going to want to buy from me if that makes sense so that's how you brand yourself and with you know attraction marketing and social media evolving um I encourage you to hop on those platforms like start posting reels like that's what's working and Facebook wants you to utilize what's working post to post so works but you guys imagine if you have one reel that takes off and you have just a flood of comments you can do the same exact work that you did posting one video instead of getting 20 30 40 posts post up you know what I mean so started doing that I got over myself I started posting and just literally not caring again uh, I think for a while I was like caring what people thought about me and stuff and I just don't care anymore so I post whatever I want that you know I re resonate with and then I can offer to people and yeah that's how I've earned my success bonuses and that's how I continue to do enrollments just by I pretty much create all my content on TikTok and then I save it and post it all to my reels so That is awesome. That is, and you nailed it right on the head, you guys. Um, what she talked about with TikTok and Reels and all of that, um, that is gold right now. Um, on, on TikTok, I'm one of those people that jumped into TikTok when the whole COVID thing hit, only because I, I only worked Facebook, but I put up one stupid meme about toilet paper that Facebook permanently delete, deleted my account permanently 5,000 friends on there that's the only place I worked my business I felt like my house burnt down I was devastated I was like 
and I was not on really on Instagram. Like I knew nothing about Instagram. Um, it, I honestly think that God took my Facebook away on purpose. Um, and it made me jump on TikTok. Now, when I jumped on TikTok, guys, I'm 54. I don't dance. I don't dance. You do not have to dance. I lip sync a lot of funny stuff. Or there's one girl that I see that's freaking has millions of followers on all the platforms. And all she does is do what other videos that are funny. That is it. And she don't ever say a word. And I'm like, what the hell? Um, throw one of those up. Like find a good popular TikTok that um, has gotten thousands of millions of views that went viral and do edit. Then snap ticket, take off the watermark, put it on Facebook Reels, put it on Instagram Reels. That's what, that will really jump your, your um, followers up. I went from 2,000 followers to 115, 114 right now on Facebook um, from doing one of those. Um, it, they, it just constantly grows. I don't post a lot of product or business either, just like Kayla said on those. I do more funny stuff. And then people, I find all of my customers that come from people commenting on my posts on my wall. And they were people I didn't know. They were all these people that started following me. Um, so that's that's how you get them to your wall. But um, don't be afraid of TikTok. And if you've been on TikTok, go. I used a ton of my videos off of that for the first couple months on Reels, um, Facebook and Instagram, because I had all that content of two years worth of content. So I just brought it all over. And that saved me so much time. Now I do, I'll spend it. I give myself at the end of the night, like maybe 20 minutes um, to scroll TikTok and find some content, basically, because otherwise it'll be three o'clock in the morning and I'll be sending a TikTok to my husband. He's like, what the hell are you still doing up at three? I'm like, I got sucked into TikTok. Don't don't do that. Just get your content and get off. Um, but do that with your reels. Don't be afraid of, of you don't have to dance and you don't have to be like, um, Samantha Bowers is awesome. Um, all of them, they're all amazing. But I'm like, I can't, they, you know, my followers would be like, what is she doing? You know, um, that be yourself, share some stuff about your, yourself. If you got kids, those are gold. Those are like gold. I love when I watch my grandbabies. That's like instant content, instant content. <laughs> I don't have a life, but I got cows and I got grandbabies. That's all anybody wants to see. So don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. And think about, and, and real quick, not one, I love host to post. I love host to post. But my reels um, and posts were blowing up so much on my wall that I didn't really have hardly any host to post last month. So mine didn't come from that. It came from all these new followers following from reels and stuff. So listen to what she said about that. Um, don't hesitate on that. Um, even if you're not putting your face in it, get a funny thing with your dog. It doesn't even have to be you. It doesn't have to be you. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is this is, I don't know if Lisa or Kayla, if you guys hear this a lot, but I get this all the time. I, I'm not signing any DT. I'm not signing any LCs. I, I see people get, get discouraged. You guys, this didn't happen overnight for one. It takes time for people to trust you. It takes time for people to get to know you. Um, but when you watch all of garden commercials, you don't instantly go. You got to see it a million and one times. Um, I got to see that my friend is actually using that mascara that she keeps talking about and and or lash growth or whatever it is that somebody else is selling. Are they still using those Scentsy candles? Okay, if they're still using it, then I'm probably going to order because they're obviously liking it. So if you're not talking about what you're using or what you're wanting to accomplish like are you, you know, maybe you're not um you haven't lost the weight and you don't have any results i did it when i started i i didn't want to put a picture up of me i was so embarrassed the way i looked i was oh it was terrible but then i just started share i just said hey i'm 50 i just i'm 50 i got a grandbaby on the way i've got some you know i i decided to jump on something else that's going to help me because it's time i start getting serious I need to get out of the bar and quit eating pizza all day. Um, I needed to start working on my own health. I, I said, I said, so y'all may be seeing a little bit more of me on here. I want to start sharing what I'm doing. People came out of the woodwork, you guys. People, friends that I never would have imagined 
were struggling with the same things I was. But they wouldn't have known that if I hadn't talked about it and shared it. And so it's consistency, consistency, consistency. I can't, cannot say that enough. And the last thing I want to add, say, add to this is um, if you're not sharing what this business is doing to you, doing for you, or you're wanting it to do for you, that's why you're not signing BT. Because why would they join you? They don't know anything about it. They don't know what it's doing for you. Why would they become a customer of yours if they don't, all, all they see is a walking billboard or commercial ad. I don't know about you guys, but I scroll past those when I see anything that looks like a sponsored ad, I scroll past. But if I see somebody, just a cup of coffee sitting on a porch or spilled cup of coffee, I'm stopping to read to see what in the hell she has to say, what happened? And then, then she talks about how she just spilled her freaking amazing flat tummy skinny coffee. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, let's step back here. So that's what you that's what you've got to think. You're overthinking it. Don't go into this business as a salesperson. Get take the salesperson off. You you share it. Just like you share your leggings that you bought or a Netflix series that you've seen. That's we're doing the same thing. That's it. You're just sharing it. And then people will become interested. Um, so ask yourself, is twenty five hundred dollars or a four to five figure a month income worth you putting yourself out there and sharing it? I don't know about you guys. I'll share everything. For that, I'll share everything. But think about it. Is that worth it to you? Because going to work in the ER every night for 18 years, I didn't go in there thinking, oh, this is going to be rainbows and unicorns every night. No, every night sucks. Every night. It, it sucks. <laughs> um you have bad days. You're going to have bad days. I haven't signed a customer in two days. Am I panicking? No, because God knows I work from the right place in my heart. He knows that we, we all are here to help others and it will come. It will come if you stay consistent. I didn't just go, oh, I didn't get a customer. I'm not posting. Well, that's really going to help me. And that's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. Um, Lisa, Kayla, you guys got anything else you want to add on here before we let everybody go off and get back to work. <clears throat> Are you going to go? Okay, I'm going to say yep. something. So, okay, the only thing I want to leave you guys with too is like, don't like let fear hold you back from starting either because I know like putting yourself out there is scary, okay? Like getting on another app, posting videos, like all, being vulnerable, all that stuff is so, so scary. Um, but I just want you to know, like doing that is, could be the one thing that you're missing to go get your success bonus. That one thing that you're scared to do, maybe it is posting on reels. Maybe it is posting on TikTok. Maybe it's going live, whatever it is that you're afraid to post, you need to go do that because that's probably the one thing that is going to explode your business for you. And I'm going to just be honest with you. You're probably going to suck a little bit at first. That's just how it is. You're not good at anything when you start it, just like you're not good at your job. You start riding a bike when you first rode it, like that's normal, okay? You're not gonna be incredible like, when you start something. But what I wanna tell you is you gain the confidence by doing it. That's how you see all of us be confident. I was not confident when I started. I look back and I cringe out all my Facebook memories, like what the heck was I doing? But guess what, you guys? I was still successful and I was still, I learned and I grew from it. And that's the whole point of this is you're not gonna be perfect. And I love what Tracy said is like, people can relate to relatable. Because when you try to be perfect, people can't relate to that. So like when we're like, well, I'm not, I haven't like bought a car like you have. I have nothing to talk about. No, you actually have an advantage because you started to pay off student loans. You started to put groceries on your table, diapers or formula. People can relate to that. And that's why to this day, I always post, you know, filling up my gas tank, putting groceries on the table, stuff like that, because I am genuinely still so thankful that I can do that, especially in these times. And that's what people need. People think like, oh, it's cool you bought a car, but like, I can't do that. Like, they're not going to be able to relate to that, you know? And so I just encourage you to just start doing that one thing that scares you because, you know, dreams don't happen in our comfort zones. And that's one thing that I had to do to get over myself was go do the thing that was tearing me that was posting on the platform. Like, you just have to know that people are going to judge you no matter what you do. If you go put on that makeup you love and you walk out the door, they're going to judge you still. They just might be louder on social media and that's okay because it's a direct reflection of them it's not about you so just keep you know sharing 
from who you are, the heart of you and being who you are and you'll attract the right people into your business. 100, 100%. You guys, you're going to find that um, the one thing that I, I love about this business is it gave me a voice. It gave me a passion to share other things that I'm passionate about. Like I'm, a, I'm passionate about my faith. I'm passionate about helping people. I'm passionate about cancer. I'm pass passionate about so many other things. And I'm like, before this business, I didn't post any anything about anything I was passionate about because I was always going to work and going and just sharing memes and whatever. But once I started and it was very uncomfortable, I'm so glad my Facebook got deleted and I don't have to see my memories because it was, I would cringe too. I was like, how the hell did anybody even think to buy for me? Um, they were so stupid, but people did, people do relate, but it was it, because you have to be real. So know that you're going to get haters, but there's a block button or there's a delete button or an unfriend button. And this is what I, I went live on my Facebook and flat out told everybody. If I can help one person by something I say, share, do anything, if I can just help one person a day, I'll be damned if I be quiet. So if you don't like my post or you are annoyed by my post, there you're an adult, unfriend me, I will not be disappointed. It's like the, I didn't say this part, but it's like the trash taking itself out. It's okay. Would you really want to be friends with somebody like that? I don't want friends like that. I want friends that are at least have manners and either keep their mouth shut if they don't like something or they're supportive. You don't want friends like that. So why do you even care? Why do you even care? So just forget about it. Just man, forget about it. And all you young guys that are on here, get jump into this business. This business can totally change your life. So don't don't sit there and just sit on it and and wonder and oh I don't know I don't want to put it seriously we have so many resources for for you guys all the work's done for you you can copy and paste the post and put it up you need to know what to answer somebody we send it to you you've got you've got everything you need so if you've got time to go pee which I guarantee you you've got to do that three or four times a day you've got time to post. So when somebody tells me they don't have time to do this business, I, I just laugh. I'm like, dude, I already did all the work for you. All you got to do is when you're in there peeing for you, put that post up two seconds, two seconds and be done. When you're standing at line in Walmart, I could add five to 10 friends. I could interact with three or four people. I could respond to a message. Pick the longest line at Walmart. Quit complaining about it and go stand in it because that's where I get most of my work done. I love when there's a long line. So you guys just take fear off the table. Go after these bonuses. Who knows how long they're last? But you can earn them unlimited. There's 150, 350. I haven't even touched my commission check for the past three months because of those weekly bonuses. And every single one of you guys are capable of doing this. If I can do it, if Lisa can do it, um, if Kayla can do it, anybody can do this. Anybody. So if you're struggling with the area that you feel like you cannot do or you just fear, you're just like, I, I just, I can't. Get with your upline. Talk to them. They will help you, but they will not know unless you reach out to them. They, they, they can't read your mind. They, they don't know where, what part you're scared of. They don't know. You've got to talk to your upline. I guarantee you they're going to help you. They're going to help you. I hope these, this helped you guys. I hope this helped everybody that was on here somewhat because I could keep going and I usually tend to, so I've, I've got to shut myself up. Aaron's probably cringing right now, like, oh God, here we go, um, squirrel. So, but anyway, thank you, Lisa, for hopping on. Amazing, I, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, Kayla, thank you for sharing your story. And um, let's all go kill it. It's, it's Tuesday, we got the rest of the week. All right, I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for hopping on.